And again, this isn't a bushcraft, how to survive in the wilderness video anyways. This is more of a, this is how my cancer treatment went. Women are always like, I can't find me a good man. Well, let me tell you, you better find you a man knows how to start a fire. Because if shit ever hits the fan, you're going to be awful cold otherwise. Let's go ahead and talk about what I really wanted to talk about, which is the cancer stuff. During weeks four, five, six, and seven of your cancer treatment for uh, throat cancer, during radiation and chemo, you can expect your body to go through a lot of changes. And the changes that stick out the most to me was the burns. And I'll put up a picture right here to show you what I mean. That's from the radiation. Um, you need to use a lot of moisturizing cream to help that heal. Um, you also get some sores in your mouth, open sores in your mouth and throat. They generally will try to give you medication to control that. Other body changes include lost weight. I lost about one third of my total body weight. And to make that really easy to understand, if you weigh 150 and you divide that by three, that comes out to be 50 pounds. And then if you subtract 150 and subtract 50 pounds, that leaves you with 100 pounds. That's saying that if I started at 150, I got all the way down to 100 pounds. Now, I actually weigh more than 150, but I'm just using that as an example. When you lose a lot of weight, your face, which may have started out rounded, will suddenly become sunken in. It looks pretty horrible. Uh, other body changes, you will age drastically by the end of your seven weeks and even a couple weeks after that you know if you're 40 years old expect to look like you're 80 by the time all is said and done um, the doctors told me before I started treatment I would want to kill them and I may not even have the will to live by the time the treatment is over there were times that I didn't have the will to live, but I never really ever wanted to harm my doctors. During the last week or two of chemo and radiation treatment, I had a really hard time just getting out of the car to go in for the treatment. So I would show up on time, and then because I really didn't want to go in for the treatment, I would actually be late. And then that eventually turned into just not showing up at all. <laughs> um, I think there was one day that, I don't remember, we were real late, like four hours late. Um, the doctors will warn you about this too. They will actually give you medication to make sure your bowels keep moving. However, even with that medication, I still got constipated. It was absolutely horrible. Um, it, it was constipated. I've never been constipated like that in my whole entire life. I basically spent four days, sometimes three or four hours at a time in the bathroom trying to go to the bathroom and couldn't. Um, taking additional medication that the doctors also gave me did eventually work on like the fourth or fifth day, but it was really, really painful uh, during that time. Um, after I stopped taking the opiates, which included Oxycontin and the morphine, I had some really bad temper flares where I would just snap over the slightest little thing. Um, a lot of times I would take my frustration out on others who didn't deserve it. And uh, 
pretty much an uncontrollable rage at times. I had really severe memory loss. I, I remember doing the cancer treatment, but I can't tell you like specific details of days. I would lose things and still haven't found them, still don't know where they're at to this day. Like, I definitely have definite memory loss. Um, the doctors will warn you prior to treatment that you shouldn't make any financial decisions while being treated. Let me tell you what that means. I thought that meant don't go out and buy a new house. Let me tell you what it really means. Make sure you give up access to all your credit cards and online accounts, including Amazon store card. Make sure someone changes all your usernames and passwords to all of your credit card accounts and all of your online accounts, or you will quickly find out you might spend eleven or twelve thousand dollars in four weeks, like I did at Amazon. <laughs> you can very easily wreck your finances. You get high on the pain pills. Apparently, when I'm high, I like to go shopping. Um, I am sure you're supposed to stop taking the pain pills gradually, and I quit cold turkey, partially because I spent so much money, partially because I was just didn't like sleeping all the time. And if you do that, you are going to crash, and you're going to crash hard. And what I mean crash and crash hard means you're going to feel like crap for about two weeks. If you can get through that two weeks, though, you'll start to feel normal again. Um, also, during the last week four to week, week seven, you are going to become both physically and mentally weak. The doctors are going to ask you almost every single visit if you have fallen. I never actually fell, but I did lose my balance sometimes, and it was actually hard to hold the weight of my body up through my legs, which are very tiny now. Um, you know, I, I couldn't pick up a 40-pound bag of goat feed during treatment, but I can now, so it's been uh, about a month since my treatment stopped. And I'm still don't weigh near as much as I not. I've only gained a couple of pounds back, and I'm still very weak. So I just have to take everything slow. Um, one of the things that I found during those last few weeks that really helped me a lot was leaning on the church to get me by and give me hope. Um, I was doing multiple video chats each week with missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, and that really helped me get through a very difficult time. Um, so even if you're not religious, you may want to reach out to a local church and uh, See if they can teach you how to pray or show you how to pray or help you pray and uh, get you through it because it's very difficult. Um, that's really all of the topics I had wrote down that I wanted to discuss. I am going to finish making this meal and I'll show you that meal, but I've said everything I wanted to say. If you have any questions about HPV, cancer don't hesitate to comment um, I'm sure I forgot stuff and if I did I'll do another video to bring it up if it's important I do plan on to go over a video upcoming over meals that I ate um, through the use of some cookbooks for cancer patients and we'll get to that in a bit